Hey YouTube, John here from AI Addict. Today we have an all new electric Ford F-150 Lightning, which has an incredible feature, which is onboard power. This car comes with eight 110 volt outlets and one 240 volt outlet, which is capable of powering your home with an option or powering a washer and dryer, or pretty much anything you want to throw at it. Today, we're going to try and charge my Tesla Model 3 long range using this onboard power using the Maxi Charger Level 2 system. Right now we have it plugged in and it's pulling approximately 7.5 kilowatts an hour off the Ford. So let's go over to the Tesla and see how well it's performing. So if we come over to the charge port, you will see that we do have a green light. So the power is coming to the Tesla. You'll see that we have 14% battery. Seven hours is the same rate it would take me to plug in at my garage. So I'm quite impressed. You can actually see it's charging at seven kilowatts per hour. We've already added a kilowatt just sitting here and we're charging at 30 amps and just quite nearly 240 volts. So now that we're in the Ford, you can see that we have about 213 miles, which translates to roughly 70% of range. This truck does have a 131 kilowatt battery, whereas the Tesla only has about 75 kilowatts. So therefore, it actually will use less battery than the full tank of this truck. So I'm curious to see where it's gonna be at when we wake up in the morning. It's been about three hours and so far 22 kilowatts have been converted from the Ford to the Tesla. So let's go see what percentage the Tesla's at now. So we're now at 42% with four hours and 20 minutes remaining. We've added about 21 kilowatt hours on screen. When looking at the Ford, we're at approximately 50% charge and have 153 miles of range still remaining. It's not a next day. However, you can tell that the F-150 Lightning stopped giving power to our level two charger because the light indications have turned off on the charger. Now let's go over to the Tesla. If you look here, there's no green light indicating that the Tesla is charging. This is due to the Ford depleting its battery, but not all the way. It has a setting that once it hits 25% battery, it will shut off all offboard power. However, you can override that. We chose not to. So if you come over to the Tesla, you'll actually notice the Tesla has charging stopped at 79% and you'll notice it is no longer taking in any power. However, I'm quite impressed with this because it took seven hours and three minutes for the Tesla to go from 14% to 79%, well being powered by the Ford F-150 Lightning. And according to my app data, it showed that 50 kilowatts of battery was actually transferred over from the Ford to the Tesla. And I think that is quite impressive. Let's go on over to the Ford actually to see what percentage it actually is at and how many miles we have remaining. I will admit the Ford is a little slow with its dash to illuminate, turn on, a little bit was the Tesla as well though. It does have a nice interesting graphics, but once it's on, you can see that we are at 25% remaining and 65 miles of range. We're able to transfer 65% of battery to the Tesla Model 3 long range from the Ford, while having the Ford still maintain 25% battery, and we only started with the Ford at 70% battery. Meaning you could probably power a couple Teslas with this truck. And with that, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, do feel free to subscribe or like it. Thank you so much. Goodbye.